Hi, this is Justin with More Business Today and FreeQR.org. In this video, we're going to cover whether your current site is mobile optimized. In a previous video, I explained that one of the mistakes that people make is uh, sending people to a website that's not mobile optimized, uh, even though the QR code is built specifically for reading with a mobile phone. So we're just going to look over what it takes for a website to be mobile optimized. Before we get into that though, I want to explain something because this causes a lot of confusion. The question is, is, does your site work on smartphones? And the answer is probably yes. However, it's slow loading because it's built to be accessed through a desktop machine. Most people are using a fast internet connection and a very you know advanced computer compared to the uh, admittedly a computer that's built into the smartphone uh, it's hard to find the key information on the page because it's not built for that screen size it's not what google calls thumb friendly in other words it's not made to be browsed using your thumbs and you have to zoom and scroll, uh, zoom in to the different areas and scroll around to find the information that you're looking for that goes along with finding the key information. It's also not built for the mobile audience. Someone searching for your website using a mobile phone is looking for different information than the same person who's at home in the comfort of their, uh, you know, using their desktop or laptop computer they're going to be looking for different information than someone with a mobile phone who most of the time is looking to get your contact information, location information, and hours. Those are the three pieces of information that most people with a mobile phone who are trying to get your site, uh, those are the pieces of information that people want. And by the way, it, that's fantastic for you. It makes them much more likely to be buyers than your average web browser, the person who's browsing your site. Uh, also, this is an important place to mention your site could be broken completely if it's built in Flash, then the iPhones still aren't supporting fat Flash at this point, and I don't believe there are any plans to. So uh, the Flash works poorly on Androids and doesn't work at all on the iPhones. So if your site is built in Flash, they might just get an error message and no information. If your site has a header that's built in Flash, so all the navigation is up in the header and it's all built in Flash, then people won't be able to get from one page to another on your site uh, because they won't be able to see that if they can't access the Flash. So now what I'm going to do is show you a, a Google tool that is built to give you a report on how well your website is mobile optimized. So the tool we're going to use is howtogomo.com and this is a Google project. Google believes so much in mobile that they have put together this whole site giving you information about uh, mobile websites basically about using allowing people to use their cell phones to access your website. So in order to test your website, you go over to test your site and hit GoMo Meter underneath that. And then you can put in your web address here. And uh, I don't really have a web address that off the top of my head that uh, isn't mobile optimized, so I'm just going to use the local. Right now, I'm in San Antonio. We use the San Antonio Chamber website as an example here. Uh, so, I'm going to put that in and you hit test your site. And depending on how long it takes to load, it may come up with some facts and give you a, a lowdown. Then, it asks you some questions about it, gives you a screenshot of it. And you'll see this is real common of uh, non mobile optimized sites. They're what I call a thumbnail site where it shows you the whole site on that little tiny screen. Obviously you can't read or access anything using this and you have to zoom in and scroll around before you'll be able to access anything. The other way that it'll show up is where it just shows you the corner. It just depends on your browser and your phone 
uh, to how it displays that website to begin with. Uh, but, you know, in this case, it's showing it as a short, as a, uh, like a thumbnail. So it asks you what kind of business this is lead generation, brand driven, and for a chamber it would be brand driven. A lot of times it's going to be brand driven. Uh, you can just guess on this, it's not super important, but it just changes what these questions are. It has some questions in there like, do you see any broken images or content? It would be hard to tell on this size screen, but I don't see anything that's broken out. I don't see the little X's. Sometimes if there's, say this is a flash element, then you'd see a broken thing up here probably. So I'm going to say no. Uh, can you read the text without zooming or scrolling? No, not at all. Can you uh, can links and buttons be clicked with a thumb? Well, not without scrolling. So that's one of those kind of iffy things. I'm gonna say no, not without zooming and scrolling. Are uh, videos, games, or other animations visible? Uh, this isn't my site. If it was my site, I would know whether there was anything missing here. Uh, but I'm just gonna say yes for now. Uh, are visuals and and uh, tone consistent with your marketing materials. Now, it's going to be consistent because the color and everything is going to fit with your marketing, although you could make the argument that it's so tiny that it's not really uh, communicating your brand at all. It's one of those iffy things, but it's not vitally important. Uh, then we click on Get Results. And it says, you know, your results, it says 2 out of 5. Uh, it says its load time isn't uh, within the rec recommended five seconds. Basically, that comes from the fact that people are likely to just back out without even loading your site if it won't load within five seconds. It's one of the key elements. Uh, and it explains uh, the images and the text. It, it gives you information about all of this. So this tool is a great way. You can view the full report. That's an actual PDF or have it emailed to yourself. If you click on build your site, it'll give you access to a lot of different people that build mobile sites for about 10 times more than I do. So I don't recommend necessarily going to that, but you can definitely check it out and see what the, what they have available. Uh, and this is, you know, this tool in a nutshell. The report's nice. It, it shows you the thumbnail of your site and all of that. And, uh, in general, this tool will give you a ton of information about, um, in fact, let me show you on the uh, guides, why mobile reasons, mobile matters, and this is an interesting site, it scrolls all around to give you the information. See, it's by 2013, more people will have, will use mobile phones and PCs to get online, you know, etc. There are all these different reasons why. Uh, mobile is important. And 2012 is going to be the year of mobile. I believe that for sure. So the question becomes, what is a mobile optimized website? And here are the key features for a mobile optimized website. You'll notice on Google site they have a list of like a hundred different things, but these are the really key information, key pieces of uh, functionality that you want to have in a mobile optimized website needs to be super fast loading. Even though the smartphones are all advertising high uh, speed, you know, 3G, 4G connections, a lot of times when people are browsing, they're on a slower connection than that. Besides that, the devices just aren't as advanced as a full-size computer. They're amazing, but they're not as advanced as a full-size computer. So load time becomes a real issue. And by having sites that are optimized for that small screen, then you can have sites that are super fast loading. Another feature is tap to call. I love this. This is one of the best things about mobile sites. Basically, it's just a button at the top of your website that allows them to tap on it, and it dials the phone for them so that uh, they can easily call you. And one of the first rules of uh, sales is make it easy for people to buy. And it's the same thing. You want people to call you, then having a tap to call button is an amazing feature. It's very simple, but it needs to be on your mobile site. You want to have the key information above the fold. In other words, so that they don't have to scroll down to see uh, any of the key information. And as I said before, 
you're talking about the contact information, location information, and hours. Uh, also, you want to have buttons for services and those things. You want to have large buttons and icons that are thumb friendly. In other words, it's super easy for someone to be able to just, uh, no matter how fat their thumbs are, <laughs> can easily just tap on an icon or tap on a button and get to the information they're looking for. Uh, the mobile site is going to have a lot less content. You don't want to have you know, a full page of content on a uh, desktop version site or you know, that you're accessing with a desktop computer is fine, but in a mobile site you're going to have real succinct information, a lot of lists, but just a little bit of information they're not looking for that much. The information, the primary information they're looking for is that uh, contact information. They're trying to get a hold of you to get more information. Uh, now, there are exceptions to that rule. Maybe one in ten, one in a uh, hundred will want to get information that is only available on your desktop site. And for that, we have a link to full website that we put on there. And we do always want to put that on there unless your website is a flash website, in which case it doesn't do any good. Uh, to have that on there as someone with a mobile phone isn't going to have a good user experience anyway. So uh, the link to full website, it basically works as a safety net to catch anybody who wants to get more information than what's contained on the smaller, more streamlined and fast loading mobile website. You're basically creating a different website for the mobile market and this is the best way to do it. So now let me show you a couple of before and after examples here. Okay, so I know seeing is believing and some of these concepts can be kind of confusing. So I just wanted to show you a couple of before and after uh, shots of what a uh, mobile optimized site looks like versus a normal site on a mobile phone. Now you'll see both of these, you have an auto repair shop, one of my clients and my uh, more business today site are in this display that I was talking about before, which is the you know thumbnail display where everything's tiny. You couldn't really use it in this format. You'd have to zoom in and scroll around, find the navigation, find what you're looking for, and click on it. Uh, so it's just not an effective way to have your site laid out as far as for mobile users go. So then if we look at the mobile version of each site. So here's the uh, here's the mobile version of Canyon, this auto repair shop. And you'll see it makes it ultra easy to, to get the information immediately. It almost looks like an app. Like and that's kind of what we're going for is to give that kind of functionality the way an app has. Uh, the headings clear, it's clear what site you're at, the text isn't too tiny, the icons are all there, they have the phone number real uh, prevalent, uh, and then the buttons for different information. Now if we look at, at uh, the More Business Today site, it's the same concept. We go from this tiny site with a lot of information to a well-organized app-like fun you know, functional site including with the tap to call button and that's what it's talking about. Uh, this one has more pages on it because it needs to be more involved as a marketing firm than I have to you know, be more involved than uh, what the auto repair shop needs. But uh, even with this much information on it, all these different things that that you can click on, it is easy to get to the information that that you're looking for. Basically, the navigation's all built into the site, and it's super easy to access that information. With you know seven different things you can do right from the uh, first screen without having to scroll. So this kind of gives you an idea of what these mobile sites look like versus the uh, old sites and beyond that they're also built you know for speed and built 
because the average site, this site, if I left that for uh, mobile users, m most people wouldn't ever even see it because the load time would be too slow and they would just back out of it. And when I say too slow, I mean more than five seconds. So it's not a, it's not a very high hurdle to uh, clear. So these are some before and after photos. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the mobile sites look like versus the uh, what the mobile optimized sites look like versus a regular website on a mobile phone. So if you have any questions or you're interested in learning more about mobile websites, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're happy to provide you with a free 15-minute consultation where we can look at your current site and give you feedback that's specific to your needs. We can look at what you're doing already and explain why it may or may not work well in the mobile market. You can give us a call at 888-224-0004 or you can email us at jfm at morebusinesstoday.com or you can check out our website for more information. It's uh, www.morebusinesstoday.com. Uh, all this information will also be at freeqr.org, so you can get that information there or get direct links to the email and the website there. Now, for related videos, uh, go to freeqr.org. You'll see that you have the, uh, you know, what is a QR code. Hopefully, you've watched that video. Uh, so everything makes sense as far as QR codes. The top mistakes people make with QR codes as far as business owners using them and uh, fast and free a fast and free way to get a QR code with tracking. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.